Let's take a look at how we can use the rail tool to maybe try to create this surface. So I have my two rails. I have, as you can see, two profiles. So let's see what I can do. Uh, profile one, generation curve there. First rail, second rail. And let's take a look. Actually, yeah, not really ideal. You see, for example, there how it valleys inwards. And that's because the software tries to make this transition for me. So this maybe means I have I need to get a surf a curve in here to stabilize the software because actually the software doesn't really know how I want the transition to be. So I'm simply trying to move this curve. Okay, let's do it then this way. Oh, okay. I need some more snap divisions. So you see actually if you click on this triangle, you get this curve snap. So maybe with two, enter, click on this curve. Three, see now there are those snap points. Four, snap, okay. Uh, keep this one here. Okay, so that one I'm going to rotate 90. So zero, zero, 090. Okay, copy and paste. And then I'm going to move that one to there. Rotate zero, zero, minus 90, maybe? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now, see, there's a problem. Those curves don't touch. And of course, you don't want to really turn on the CVs and move everything by hand, because that's terrible. So let me show you actually a really nice tool. So you go to curve edit, and it is under add points. It's the stretch tool. And basically what it does, you click for example, your curve, you see you have those sliders and those rings, you can click a ring. And then I press my control key and snap to this point. And what it does actually, it stretches basically the complete object for you and moves all the CVs nice and evenly. So you don't do that by hand. You just use this command for that. Okay, perfect. Now let's take a look at what we could do with the rail. Uh, no, we need more. One, two, three, spacebar, U, and U. So you see now the side actually looks better. And let's um, turn on, for example, the symmetry. Symmetry is wrong, so layer symmetry set plane. Uh, and Interestingly, oh, what is this one on? Assign. Okay. There. I was on the wrong layer. Okay. So there we see uh, problems. So we, th we know maybe we can use this implied tangency stuff. So implied tangency, implied tangency, 
And let's see if that can fix it. Maybe a little bit, maybe applied curvature. Yeah, but you, s you will notice actually that the, the mold start to look, for example, here really bad. So that's a no-go. So what else can we do? Oops. So the symmetry we first turn off. So the trick actually can be simply to build everything in halves, but not half like left and right, more front and back. And trying to do that in areas where maybe you have less stress on the surface, for example, at the flat areas. So what I'm trying to do from here to there to there, I make one rail. And then from there to there to there, I make another rail. And then you use the commands to, to make a G1 or G2 uh, flow into the surface with the rail. So let's try this one out. One, two, three, spacebar, first rail, second rail, and nothing really works. Maybe think, well, rebuild surface doesn't work either. So um, it's also not hidden. It simply is not being created. And what we have to do in this case, actually those uh, ellipses, we have to split so we can select them, go to the curve section option, segment, go and say split by this curve. Oh, whoops, nope, spacebar. And now say those two, split by that one and that one. Nothing object and there you see actually you see those points but we can simply turn those off and you see those dots are actually gone because no those are not key point curves anymore. So what we can do now is actually we go to rail one two three spacebar one, two rails, and nope, and nope. I'm just curious how the rebuild looks like. Rebuild sometimes, how uh, could I say that? Uh, tries to clean stuff up, simplifies it a little bit. You see like I have many lines and with rebuild it simplifies it a little bit, but also changes the geometry a little bit. So um, it's kind of like a sacrifice between making the mesh lighter, but not being perfectly hitting the surface. That can sometimes be also a saver. So now click on the curve of the rail surface, mid rail, rail of the other surface, spacebar, lower rail, upper rail and then here for we want at least or probably this one and this one next let's take a look there see this actually for example seems to work much better so for uh, this as a concept model, this is actually pretty pretty sufficient. But again, um, don't be fooled by what looks shiny. See when we turn this one on, there are some problems to the surface as you can see. Okay, so this was actually not too bad. It works 
somewhat okay for making like quick concepts. The nice thing again also here, you know, because this is uh, all interactive, we can go and select the edit point, maybe this one, and say move, maybe this one more down. Or this one more down here. You can also go back to this one and say, what, how does this one look like when, for example, here we do a rebuild. Yeah. Not too much, maybe. Yeah, this is more in the, the midsection. It doesn't really do it along the generation curves. Okay, good. So trying to work with the least amount of points, trying to get that shell done. Now actually, just as a reference, I am going to copy this curve, copy and paste to here. Turn this one on. And then I'm going to use the rail, one profile, two rails. So for example, I can turn this one on and off and for example, see how, for example, my other surface comes in, you can see that in certain areas it bellies out or it gets through specifically up here. So that might, for example, be a problem. But currently this is actually not too, too complicated what I have there. So this is actually, again, what we do here are rather hard. Uh, concept studies so for the for the sake of that that is actually more than than sufficient so we can for example further play with pushing this one maybe closer but again you want always to have a nice amount of space for surface to de-stress so from this point being pushed in over here um, but also you see from here, I have a transition till there. So over this whole area, this finger or holding grip is being added um, to this area. So let's try to see how we can deal with the center there to make that transition. Um, I know actually that here I have my original complete arcs or sorry circles but here i have half an ellipse and here i have a complete circle so i can't use for example the by rail command doesn't work um what about maybe the blend command it has a chain command click maybe this lower edge okay click maybe this and let's see what we have g1 g1 there yeah doesn't really look super because you also can see all these lines on it plus they are distorted so this is terrible geometry and take a look here six degrees, 96 bands. This is just craziness. This is complete unusable. And what's the reason for that? So if you click this one, degree six, single span. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Maybe it should be half, half might be better. But here, degree three, 12 spans, six, 17 spans. So this is actually the problem this geometry is way, way too tight. So here we actually reach a situation where we can work quick and dirty. 
and now we have to try to refine and clean the stuff up because otherwise um, the tools as you s saw start to act interestingly I would say because it's just not the way how you should work and not the way how they're meant to work with and on the other side uh, if you pass that stuff to an engineer that might get a heart attack so what we do actually is we have to simplify the shell and let me show you there are some interesting steps what we can do so this part I copy and paste and assign onto this layer I called baked so by copy and pasting you see the um, design history got removed so this is kind of like we're going to something that's called sculpting so there we don't really work with the design history anymore so what I would like to do first is attach this one to the other one and think about this is like paper and we use tape to glue over the edge and here is the command attach Just double click it so you see you can connect or blend keep original insert spans go click this edge select click this edge click and there we are so you click your mouse select the one release your mouse but I have one problem my seam this now you see one sheet of paper is somewhere here I don't like that so how do we fix this very simple we detach the other half we don't like so there's detach to do detach the best you can with control maybe click onto such a line and then click go let's do the same in the front control there spacebar perfect click click you see those are selectable shells delete and gone so the nice thing about this approach for example with attach detach is you can build a simple shape out of for example one profile with the rail and then you cut parts out think about like doing work on a wood lathe you make a nice masterpiece and then you start carving into that perfect proportion you cut same idea so let's see with the symmetry how this one might look like yeah so at least no evident flaws we can see but again of course if we take a look this way it's still geometry on steroids consuming too much CV LSD way too many spans in overdose okay so the next step what we have to do is actually if we select this one and turn the hole on you can see that craziness and that was news from Germany okay. and what we have to do now is actually try to l reduce the amount but m try to maintain as much as possible the, the outline so there's a tool actually for that that's called rebuild because we're rebuilding redrafting that surface and you find that one for example here just double click it gives you kind of like an overview or look how it could look like let's just click normal rebuild and let's for a moment turn this one off okay so 3, 12, 17, no, still a little bit crazy. Maybe non rational, let's see what happens. Or, for example, reduce span. So, you, you have quite many options. How, for example, you can um, remove elements. And 
I'm not going to say that. I'm going to introduce them step by step. Not all at once, no. So, let's turn this one on. So, didn't really do too much. There it was, didn't click. Go, <laughs> forgot that one. So there's a rebuild surface. Actually, I'm going to pull that one, whoops. Going to pull that one out. So there, for example, we can see that the rebuild actually made a nicer spacing between all those isoprams on the surface. So technically speaking the surface looks the same but maybe that one should be a little bit cleaner. So let's see. One one. Curvature graph on and let's see. Not really that much difference. Okay. Because there's, there's still way too much craziness going on. We have to get rid of that. So let's see, reduce spans. Go. So, yeah. Hmm. Also, maybe not necessarily what I want. So, I find those tools sometimes a little bit tricky to use. So, what I'm actually rather going to do is here, I'm really just going to and say just rebuild so it is a little bit more manageable for me. So, Uh, shoot, I guess I did not click go. There. Okay, good. No, I did. So, and then, for example, here, we can maybe try to see what happens if maybe this one we set to five spans. Yeah, yeah. And maybe five spans. You see the shape drastically gets thinner, but there are also some maybe problems with it. Maybe to degree five, four spans, so more points might actually help actually uh, add, how could I say that? With more CVs, you can get more geometry. See, this is really simple. It's a little bit more complex. So we have to experiment maybe a little bit. Click accept. And there's really no, no true art or how you have to do it. I'm really currently right now trying to eyeball the results. So let's take a look at maybe the symmetry and we will see one problem, I think. No, actually it's still good. Oh, great, uh, good. But let's turn this one on. So you see the those curvature graphs are already much much nicer because we started reducing the degree and the spans but it also meant that we lost details and again you know that's then at one point the art trying to find a balance between what you need what's manageable and what's the look you are shooting for 
So because if I have to to sculpt this one by hand, this is going to be so much easier now because now I can also go ahead actually and for example select those CVs and then do a little bit more of hand adjustment. Before I had way too many points to take care of. That was crazy. So, for example, this point I would like to go inwards a little bit. Nope, wrong button there. And maybe this point go in a little bit. And maybe this point go in a little bit and maybe a little bit back. So then, and actually I can start sculpting really nice shapes. And this is really manageable now because we simply thinned out the amount of points we, we were dealing with. But also here, maybe trying to bring a little bit of order to it. And see when I pull this one down, this one moves down. So trade-offs. But this is, for example, so much faster than to sculpt when you have a nice simplified body than actually trying to do everything only with, with profiles, which can be uh, really, really complicated and uh, difficult. So it's kind of like you, you, you use both, you mix them. And now if this is something I really like. I can actually go one step further and instead of trying to reduce the, the geometry here, actually try to hand sculpt new curves and do it right actually at that point. So you saw that there's a process in making quick rough dirty models and then you rebuild them afterwards because sometimes you don't really know what you need so you have to make some dirty tests and then you can fix it. So for example here I created this layer um, and this one I have to move on to this layer sign okay uh, no symmetry, turn this one off, okay, and then I'm going here to create a circle. But actually what I'm going to do is, um, see if you click this one, you can type in 180, one segment, um, one span, two segments, no one. Alt click and that was actually completely wrong. Oh, what I meant was, sorry, 360, <laughs> two segments. Click and here are my start and end points, which is not what I want. I want this one to be rotated, so snap snap and rotate it. So I clicked on this point, then I can click on the scale icon and scale it down. So you see this is a single span degree five. So very clean, simple geometry and then I can scale it here. So I'm ditching basically my key point curves. They were good for the beginning, but now 
I have to do it right. There. Okay. Now, uh, this one I can copy and paste. And for example, I move it up. Let's move it down to there. And then scale along the x axis. No, nope. there. Uh, maybe like this. Okay. Good. This one right now I'm going to set as reference so I can't click it by accident, but I can see it. So those two curves, I turn off the hole. Then I create myself a new EP curve degree three and two, I think should do it. Yeah, snap to the midpoint and snap to the midpoint. Next curve, snap to the midpoint, snap to the midpoint. Next, here actually it's just there there. Good. Great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select those CVs and for example, whoops, turn off the curve snap and move this one out till I get kind of like this shape I want. Here maybe I do something like this. There, so there I have, I have to figure out what I'm going to do there. And here maybe like this and like this. So now I see my stuff is maybe a little bit more complicated then I have control points or control vertices. So I need to amp that up a little bit, but you see it's nice and easy to make a simple shell or curve and then subdivide it. Then trying to draw everything by hand. Now I could maybe, no, this one I still need to up maybe one more to five, except yeah, this might actually work better. CV move inwards a little bit. Uh, maybe I just make it flatter. So move and select nothing. You go to five. Accept. Actually, no, I probably need to be a six and could be there. I still need a double span. Move, push this one in. Yeah. Okay. Double span. Let's see. I don't want to do it too crazy. Three. Let's see. It's maybe a little bit of puzzle playing here right now. Yeah, there we're getting close. Mm, 
Okay. So, what do we have? Here, what we're going to do now is this one we're going to copy and paste, move, move around, control, snap to there, and then we rotate it zero, zero, 180. Also, zero, zero, 180. There. I must have missed one digit. Okay, so we're getting close actually. So uh, let's go to the rail. One, two, oops, undo. One, two, three, spacebar, one, two, and it's at. Do not intersect, undo. How did that happen? But not a big deal, we have our sketch tool. And snap. And snap. Let's see if that fixed it. There was an error warning. No, I want to intersect. Oh, oh, down there. Here, there. Doesn't do it. Okay. So, you shall be gone. Okay. Let's see. St sketch. Move to there. S snap. Go to somewhere else. Control. Snap. There, ah, there it is, perfect. Okay, next. So then from the rail surface to this one, to the rail surface, spacebar, U and U. And then curvature stuff. But, <clears throat> There is one problem with those spans. You see they have to be pulled down. But let's see. I think in general, this is already a much better surface. So for example, let's throw this one on. Whoa, what's going on there? That's interesting. So let's click it. See. Oh. Wah, wah. Oh. Undo that one. So this rail to this curve, this rail edge, spacebar, one and two. Curvature there. That's the way it should be. And let's check, for example, how this one, for example, looks like. Curve to graph on. Um, so where, of course, those two pieces meet, there is this pinching right now. Well, we could still continue working on that one and simplify it more. But you see already that everything else is nice and soft now, so there is no craziness going on. So I think this is a pretty good example for that whole process from the beginning, being quick and dirty to the end and how to start cleaning this stuff up. And then 
trying to make manageable geometry to work with. So there, for example, you see how, how simple actually my whole box looks like. So I think at this point, maybe I will leave it. This is also two halves, so um, I'm going to hide those two invisible. Uh, let's go to here, maintain the same, alt click, scale it down. There was a need to rotate it. Then we have to move it up. Copy and paste, move it up. Maybe don't, don't show those holds. It can be distracting. show the rest and then for example see all these points those edge points line up so we could for example um, save go to skin one and two next and then we make a blend this one to See, I have chain select to this surface. But, oof, terrible. Nope, 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 nope. This is not what I want. Crazy. Nope. Be gone. So. What we're going to do here in this case now we have actually good proper geometry click 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 and click then i'm going to make another rail so two one and two Oh yeah, actually, let's try this one out. One and two. So this one maybe we leave, rail two. Let's make this one undo all. One, two. There. So you know we can make this rail snap to that stuff. Next. And now you are rail surfaces. And here actually I want the generation ones to be maybe tangent actually unfortunately I forgot to memorize the steps so we used oh there's a failed position terrible tangent tangent that goes up tangent tangent uh, mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just playing around with this stuff right now. Let's see what we get. It's probably not ideal.
curvature graph on. Let's go to top view. Yeah, there, see, there's where it meets, it pinches, so, but, okay, you know, this is alias one, this is already quite a lot to chew on, so I will leave it actually at this point, uh, and not try to refine this further, but I hope that actually you start getting, like, a good idea about it, because Probably if we're going to print this one, the, the surface problems you might not even really even see there. But from this point, this actually looks pretty fantastic. So let's leave it there for the moment. So the only really, really itsy bitsy last step I might do is actually curious what happens and that's I hope the way how you start approaching it the same way what happens if you do what so be curious sign turn this off okay so those are all wait okay I guess then you right. delete this one. So what I'm going to do is actually attach, attach, attach. Oh, this is crazy. No, that was, that was garbage. <laughs> that didn't really work. Okay, so that means what I'm curious now is This curve is a 4, 3. So let's see how all the stuff might look like when we do the same. So, degree 4. Three spans. See, actually, all that stuff is being connected. So didn't really change actually that much to be honest. So I don't think it was necessary. I was just curious. Um, didn't we adjust the stuff? Five and two, five and two. Yeah, we did. Okay. Yep, yep. I thought it might work different. And again, you know, the thing with modeling, it's all about approximation. Sometimes you don't necessarily 100% know what you will end up with. Um, so you might have to play around a little bit. But okay, let's leave it at this. I think this actually gave you a pretty good idea into how you can use all those different tools to make a quick concept, to uh, reduce shapes, try to um, then actually rebuild everything.